Hi friends, welcome back. In this session, we will be seeing how to enable a pseudo script um, in Linux. Pseudo scripts allow uh, the non root users to execute some commands which requires the root privilege. For example, I am in a machine which is 11G R10 and let's create a user. Uh, we'll create two. Uh, we'll create a group and we'll create a uh, user inside the group. Group. So group add hyphen g students. So group add uh, hyphen g eight hundred and students. A group called students is created. Now we'll be create a user add hyphen g students then we'll create a user called Wimmer fine and now let's switch to uh, as Wimmer user and we'll try to restart our net network by giving the command service network restart command could not found the command is located on a spin slash so we'll we'll just give which service um the service is not there in any of the path but uh, uh, the service if you're looking at the uh, root user and if you're giving which service then we'll understand that it is on has been uh, service so we'll switch back to vml user and see whether uh, vml can execute that slash has been slash service network restart you can see that one every command when he is trying to restart user cannot control this device and we are getting the permission error now due to some reason if you wanted to give, give uh, the privilege for Vimal or the or any members of the group students to restart the services how to do that one that's what we are going to try this now so let's create a script which will be restarting the service for example uh, va slash etc slash network hyphen restart dot sh in that one we'll give slash s bin slash service network restart okay now we'll give the required privileges or permission ch mode double seven uh, sorry triple seven slash etc slash network Okay, we don't have to give exactly triple uh, seven. What what we want to say, since other users are belonging to other gr other groups, we need to have the other other groups the execute privilege on the script. For example, let's see do one thing. C H mode seven five five. Okay, L S F and L slash etc slash network okay we can see that one the other group any any uh, groups other than root got the execute privilege on this particular script now the next file to be modified is in the etc folder suders vi slash etc sorry cd slash etc ls hyphen l sudo we can see that there is a file called sudoers we'll open that file okay if you're coming there are a lot of examples are there come to the last example you can see that here we are telling that allow the members of the group to mount and unmount the file system so here percentage users in our case it will be percentage students what the command all 
equal to slash etc slash network underscore restart dot sh save this file it is read only file we have to overwrite it yeah now switch to vimal user okay now sh slash etc sorry not like that sudo slash etc slash network start.sh let's see what happens it is asking to enter the password so which password we have to give since we are executing the sudo privilege we have to execute the password of the vimal user or the user who is executing the sudo command I think we have made a mistake that we have not set the password for Vimal user. So let's correct that first. Uh, password Vimal. I give the password as Vimal itself. Okay, now switch to Vimal user. sudo etc network restart.sh. It asks for the password. I give Vimal. Now see, we can see that the Vimal user is trying to shut down the uh, um, network devices. Now we are not getting any kind of errors. So I think this example with the pseudo privileges or pseudo commands, we can give only the required privilege for that user. For example, say um, if uh, the user is trying to stop the uh, command, let's see. Uh, what happens is that um, service network stop or say has been network stop has been service so here Vimal is trying to execute a command which was not entered for his pseudo privileges. So at that time, Linux is preventing or Unix is preventing him from executing the command. So Vimal can execute only that uh, only that commands which is being added with the pseudo uh, file. Only that command he can execute. That way we can control which are the uh, super user, uh, which are the commands which requires um, uh, super user privilege, but it can be executed or we want somebody else to some some other normal users to execute some uh, scripts or some commands which requires a root uh, privilege to uh, execute it so this way we can um, dedicate or delegate the privileges some of the privilege for the other users and um, work in a better way hope this example is clear thank you